I'm going to start meiosis at interphase as a result of interphase being where the DNA is replicated, specifically in the S phase of interphase, and also during the growth phases of interphase, this is where the other cell organelles are replicated. It is important for me to point out though that interphase is not a part of meiosis, it is the stage prior to it. Now you can see that during prophase, which is the first phase of meiosis, we call this prophase 1 because meiosis has two divisions, in this phase you see that the DNA condenses to form chromosomes that become visible. Also you have the spindle starting to form from the centrioles at the poles of the cell and this happens as the nuclear membrane begins to disintegrate. In late prophase, once the chromosomes have begun to condense and come closer as homologous pairs, you start to see chiasmata formation. This is the crossing over of the DNA and sometimes pieces of DNA snap off and they attach to non-sister chromatids and so genetic material is exchanged. In metaphase 1 of meiosis you see the homologous pairs lining up along the equator of the cell. This is followed by anaphase 1 where the homologous pairs are separated. Each chromosome in its homologous pair is pulled towards opposite poles of the cell and once there you start to see the disintegration of the spindle. In telophase 1, new nuclear envelopes form around the chromosomes that have been pulled to either end of the cell and those chromosomes then begin to unravel to form chromatin. The first division, or meiosis 1, has then been completed and cytokinesis follows by dividing the cytoplasm to form two separate cells. After cytokinesis comes the second division of meiosis, meiosis 2, and this begins in the same way as the other with prophase, although this time it is prophase 2. Once again you observe the chromosomes condensing to become visible, the formation of spindle and the disintegration of the nuclear envelope. In metaphase 2 you see the chromosomes existing as sister chromatids lining up along the equator and this is followed by anaphase 2 when the sister chromatids are separated and the centromeres split. Once separated the sister chromatids can be referred to as chromosomes. The spindle fibre disintegrates and in telophase 2 new nuclear envelopes are formed around the chromosomes. Once again, as before in telophase, the chromosomes unravel to form chromatin in telophase 2. Cytokinesis then follows this second division of meiosis 2 to form a final four cells. Not only is each of these cells genetically different from the original cell, they also have half the number of chromosomes to the original cell. We refer to the original cell as being diploid or 2N and the four cells produced are haploid or N.